Hello Leo and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. Uh, this is your February money career and finance reading. We're going to take a look what kind of energies you can expect and how you can handle them. But as usual, this is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. We're going to look at your angel uh, guide oracle card first and you have here the guardian angel, which is kind of like an indication that uh, whenever you need help, you can just turn to your angels. The angels are watching you, whatever you're kind of going through, whatever's kind of happening to you, the angels there for you to help and and uh, they're kind of uh, always available whenever you need them. But let's see uh, what is the tarot telling us. In the center of your reading, you do have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, first of, uh, of all, is an indication of financial stability. This is the card when you worked hard for something and you achieved it. Uh, some of the challenges of this card that you are kind of trying to hold on to it a little bit too um, hard. You're kind of losing of um, uh, you are afraid of losing it and and generally like you know with that you can attract those fear energies can it attract that that you might actually lose it but this is all about like you know for some of you uh, it is f uh, financial stability it is an indication that you know you are it's going to be financially stable for you whatever you're kind of uh, going through some of you might be getting some additional money some of you might be getting some uh, bonus uh, this time but uh, for some of you it might be that you are trying to hold on to certain things in your life some of you might be uh, holding on to a position a job uh, a business or just a thought process right or, or a company there's something that you are uh, not letting go you're uh, trying to hold on to so think about like you know how this resonates and we will see what the other cards are telling us uh, in the first reading you have here is the hierophant which is all about our connection to the heavens our connections to the angels so this is kind of telling uh, you that you know you need to have faith you need to have faith uh, that uh, the angels are with you the universe is there for you and it's also have faith in yourself this is kind of like a very traditional energy so some of you like you know especially with uh, with the uh, four of uh, pentacles you might be kind of holding on to old uh, beliefs old uh, traditions a little bit too much uh, but this can be also for some of you uh, an indication of uh, your connection to uh, like a community or uh, you might have some uh, a workplace where you have great uh, collaboration among people but also this is a card of commitment so some of you are making some kind of a commitment some of you might have uh, committed yourself to a project a new job uh, or a company or a business um, of, of some sort and, and and you're definitely holding yourself to that commitment and then we have here uh, the beautiful energy of the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is this golden opportunity uh, that kind of came into your life and it has definitely high potential. Uh, this is one of those things that can, can be something great that, will, uh, that you will be able to reap the benefits of the stability on a long term. So, so for some of you, it might be that you are working in a very traditional organization, like a very well-established organization where you got an opportunity and it's definitely been providing you a lot of uh, great uh, salary great abundance and you have here the page of pentacles which is you know pages generally an indication of some kind of a news so some of you might be getting a news about something maybe you got an offer maybe you got some kind of an opportunity uh, somehow it is kind of connected to this that you got an opportunity uh, at a well-established organization and and it's been kind of uh, providing you with a lot of uh, stability the next card we have here is the justice card so the justice is the card of balance it is also a card of stability it is also uh, can be an indication of a major uh, life changing decision some of you need to make a, a decision this time uh, or or there's something around that maybe some of you are trying to balance your finances as well because when you kind of look at the justice it can be balancing the finances and a four of pentacles can have this uh, meaning as well that you are trying to 
hold on to your coins your pennies because you don't want to kind of go crazy uh, spending them justice is also can be of course uh, legal processes some of you it might be that you know uh, it, it kind of has this very give and take type of energy that what you reap what you sow uh, so for some of you it might be that uh, this is going to be very uh, important at this period of time but if you're going through a legal process there's definitely a decision here that's being made a decision on your favor so you're gonna get whatever you uh, deserve and maybe the four of pentacles is indication indicating that money that you might be getting uh, through this uh, legal process also justice can be a contract so some of you might be committing yourself to a contract that's gonna give you some uh, great financial stability and the next card we have here is the tower the tower is the card of change quick sudden change uh, when you're kind of taken out of your comfort zone so this is kind of, this is one of those uh, energies when the universe is coming in to help you to get out of a situation where you didn't see a way out maybe some of you have been working in a project uh, that's been very uh, not serving you some of you might be might have stayed lo very long in a business in a position in a work environment and it's time for you to kind of be lifted out of this sit uh, situation this is kind of like a some for some of you it's also your belief system that needs to change now this is can be this can be also a restructuring so like you know a lot of companies are going through big big changes and this can be a restructuring for some for uh, some cases because you know the tower is when you kind of built up a system and the system is collapsing and you need to kind of uh, build it up from the ground up now this can also be uh, a lot job loss for some of you uh, it can also be a sign that you know like uh, with the tower and the justice uh, and the four of pentacles uh, some of you might be getting some kind of a, uh, a severance uh, due to some restru restructuring but you know it's tower is not necessarily mean job loss it, it is just that there's a new structure that's coming into place that's gonna shock you right so there's, there's some kind of a shocking change uh, that that that's unexpected but let's see what's gonna be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message gets out to as many people especially to those who need it the most and for you it is only casting a push of a button so ho so i hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons but i'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is resonating with your life if you're willing to share so you have here the next card uh, as the death card which is an indication that your life is is going through some major change uh, one chapter of your uh, career is ending and a new one is beginning uh, and and you know this is kind of like a change that you should n not resist you should kind of go uh, with the flow uh, and and welcome the change uh, that this is bringing you now you know for some of you on a day-to-day -day basis it might be that you're just finishing a project and a new one is starting some cases it might be that you are finishing a job uh, you are finishing a, a position and you're getting a new one right because you know you have this restructuring energy maybe you're going to be in a totally new position some of you might be even uh, just uh, uh, it, it can be that you're you're being elevated as as, as part of this uh, restructuring and, and a new uh, chapter starts for you where you know everything is new everything is 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 uh, just uh, unknown uh, but it's, it can be also that uh, in some instances some people might uh, leave uh, uh, the corporate world behind and and start uh, your own company especially if you've been kind of working on your uh, own company uh, the death card can kind of tell you that okay it's time for you to commit to this um, business uh, of yours but let's see what is the next one the next is the five of pe five of cups which is an indication that i think you, you're going to be kind of having a hard time uh, dealing with this uh, change uh, right the, the five of cups is the card when you're kind of uh, feeling sad having sorrow and and you're kind of going through this uh, regretful period of time when you're just uh, focusing on the negative uh, but you know this is kind of like one of those energies that are telling you that not everything has been lost 
there's more for you to discover those two cups behind him are indication of new opportunities that are coming into your life that's going to be probably even better than whatever you had whatever you kind of uh, might have lost or you might have uh, just it might uh, that changed and uh, here you have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, which is a card that's an indication in, in a money career finance uh, 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 reading that you're going to be actually way more successful when you think, than you think. This is a great card when you're kind of looking for a job or you're starting to, uh, to have your own business because it's very uh, task-oriented. It's very passionate, very energetic, uh, very go-go-go type of energy. And 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 uh, as I said, it's a great energy if you're looking for a job or starting your own business, because practically it means that you're going to be way more successful than you think. So I think whatever you're kind of changing, whatever you're leaving behind, yes, it might have been a good position. It provided uh, some solid foundations for you, but what I can see here that there's something better is awaiting uh, for you with the Knight of Wands energy. And you do have at the bottom of the deck the Eight of Cups, which is an indication that you're leaving something behind that's no longer serving you. And you are looking, uh, you are following your passions and you're following your true calling, uh, whatever uh, makes you happy. So yes, this change is not uh, easy. It's not going to be easy. You're gonna have, you're gonna go through ups and downs, but overall the uh, energy is that you're gonna be able to come out of this uh, very successfully and you're gonna be more successful than you think and you always have your angels helping you uh, and guide you. So that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again.